Hi, hello, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Yes, um, it is still me, Shireen, doing your business videos for you or helping you to understand business studies better through short videos. Um, the layout of my presentation is a little bit different because I'm using Microsoft Whiteboard as a change. Um, just to have a new feel to my presentation, um, you're free to uh, share your feedback, if any, in terms of you know how this uh, delivery is done and whether you're comfortable with it. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Now, today we're looking at market size. And yes, we are still in the topic or the unit of marketing. Okay, And why we're looking at market size is because we are in the area where we're going to talk about the various features of the market. And one of the features is looking at the size. right? And to give an example of a market size is to look at a particular industry. Right, So uh, in a market, it means that we're talking about the various businesses in that particular industry and how big that industry really is. So take, for example, I'm going to put, uh, you know, an industry as an example here. And we're looking at a shoe industry or a retailing industry that sells shoes. And essentially, we're going to talk about maybe four businesses in this industry one two three four of course uh, i'm giving an example so uh, it's a little bit uh, too small to be an industry but just for the sake of example let's talk about four businesses a b c d and how big is this industry is measured in terms of uh, the sales value right that four of these businesses have okay so the sales is measured in two forms either we look at the volume of sales they make or we can also talk about the value of sales they make let's talk about the volume first okay assuming in the year 2009 let's change some colors a little bit here you go okay in the year 2019 the total combined sales for from a b c and d was about two million pairs of shoes or oh, this is measured in terms of units or in terms of volume this one over here all right. In the same year, we can also measure the sales of the combined companies A, B, C, D in terms of value, which brings a total of two million. All right, combined. Right, which basically means for each pair of shoe they sold, it's about one dollar each. All right, which is really unrealistic, but for the sake of example. Okay, so coming back to class, yeah. This gives you an, uh, an idea of what volume and value is, and it's used to measure sales and also to determine the size of the particular industry. Now, why is this important to you? Why should you know about the market size for a particular business? If you're an entrepreneur, you would need to know about this because you, if you have the intention to start your own shoe shop, all right if you want to know how big the industry is how many players are there how many sales that they are making in a year uh you know uh, uh, accumulatively and whether it would be a good idea for you to go into a business that is growing and you know booming in terms of sales all right versus a size of a market that is very small like this one right with only four companies for that matter and going into it would it be a good idea when you have lesser competitors right and also uh, lesser volume in terms of demand right so this gives you an idea whether there is greater competition whether there is a good amount of revenue that you would gain going in whether there is a demand for the particular product that you're going to start working on yeah, so this is basically uh, uh, an understanding of what, what market size is. And in the next uh, video, we will talk about market growth, which is also still on the same topic of the features of a market. Thank you so much for today and have a great, great evening.